I'm not suggesting that you don't work hard in terms of an idea, but I'm trying to tell you, if you grind, 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 you will be broke the rest of your life or you will barely make it. This society did not become rich by workers. It came rich by the people who knew how to put the workers to work. <laughs> oh, come on, somebody. I know, ouch, amen, whatever you want to say. It's the truth. This country got rich off of 400 years of not paying nobody. That's how they became rich. It's free labor. You making somebody work for 400 years for free? Yeah, you rich. You ain't got to pay nobody. You ain't got to do insurance. <laughs> I don't get insurance. I don't even get like paid vacation. I don't get to take no time off. I'm a slave and I'm sick. You got to go pick cotton. And then if you get sweet with it, Eli, with you, you get sweet with it and make a machine, you're not about to get the patent to the machine. Your master about to get the patent. And you might get lunch regularly. But you're not about to get paid. Kill that worker's mentality. You value effort over execution. For real. I love it. I love it. You, I love it. The have-nots, you think because you put in 50 hours, even though it was at 70%, you think that's the same thing as execution? It's not. I was with my wife the other day, and we had, like, look, we just got overwhelmed with it. We never knew that many people was going to buy. Like I said, we don't know who we are in the earth. We know that many people was going to buy the journals. Like, it was just unbelievable. So we all had to, Carl House, my house, we all packing books, putting it up. I promise y'all, the way my wife worked, I was like, yo, I can't do that. I just bowed down to her. I was like, wow, you got MS and still killing me. I bowed down, sweetie. I need a break. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I would have been a house Negro. I'm like, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being 100. My wife wants some field stuff. I'm like, I can't do it, sweetie. I'm like, no, my wife was like, yo, when those boxes come in, those people ordered it. I don't, however many boxes come to our house, they must all be shipped tonight. I was like, boo, we don't even know how many boxes is coming. <laughs> you know I said, can we count the boxes first? <laughs> we have no idea how many boxes come in. We don't even know if we have enough supplies. My wife, that's a different mindset. My wife said when they come in the house, they will be packaged and whatever post office she found out one point, I said the post office closed at 430. She said the one in our neighborhood, the one up the street 15, 20 minutes away, it closed at 930. I said, how you know that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I only know about the one in the, by, by the neighborhood. She got a different mindset. So a lot of you think for real, like you put in a lot of effort and you're looking at your boss like, what's up? But what you don't realize is your boss don't make money off of effort. Your boss make money off of execution. So I watched my wife grind and we got them soakers, suckers done and they kept coming in and she kept doing it and I was burnt out. I ended up getting a gig. I was like, praise God, I'm out. <laughs> I was on the plane first class like, thank you, father, for the break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bless her heart. Right? They like, they, you entertainment seeking. E, did you see power? Absolutely not. Did you see the game of throw? Absolutely not. I'm trying to blow up. I'm trying to blow up after the blow up. I'm number one. Now I'm trying to find out what's after number one. And you know what that is? That's not a speaker. That's a businessman. So I'm trying to own as many companies as I can, get as much equity as I possibly can. I don't got time for the game of thrones. I'm playing my own games trying to sit on a throne, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get a throne. I'm just saying, for real, some of you broke and you still entertained. Like, I'm not even tripping on those of you who got money and you comfortable and you want to chill and watch it. I'm talking about those of you who are complaining about your job. You ain't got no money and you sitting here complaining about, but then you watching all the TV programs. That's a have-not mentality. The rich person made Game of Thrones. They, they don't even watch it like you watch it. They can't even enjoy it. They put that joker together. They watch it like, that didn't come right. Oh, Lord. She didn't say it right. They were off. Oh, man. Okay, next episode. You sitting there in a house that you, not e you can't even afford. You and your mama basement watching Game of Thrones. You just, you just comfortable. You just... I just need to come out right now. See, give me a device on the next one. We can just start hitting folks in the face. Just blah. I need to bring you to your senses. You and your mama basement watching TV. All right, all right. Pleasure before payment. For real, you like to get, you, you, you do things that you can't afford. 
For real, you do stuff you can't afford. And then you don't understand that this society is built rich off of people who like pleasure before payment. They making money off of you because you buy a car you can't afford and they charge you five, six times more for it. They give you a house that you can't afford and you thought it was 300,000, but come to find out when you finish paying for it 15, 30 years later, that house wasn't 50, 100,000. Now it's about 700,000. You didn't pay the extra $500,000 for a house. That's not worth it. But they caught you because you was broke. They saw you watching the game. Of th they saw you. No, they laughing at They think I'm playing. They got you monitored when you watch it. They know your spending habits. I'm not, this thing is crazy. I wasn't even in Michigan for four months. I was on the road. I came back, went to like the Myers, and I just brought one, hey, I brought one thing, and they gave me coupons for everything I buy. I was like, somebody watching me. <laughs> How they know I eat that? And I eat that. And I eat that. And I ain't bothered in a while, and they just gave me a coupon for it? They watching you. You just thought the mail came randomly. <laughs> a car came to your crib, credit card. You're trying to start a business. You're broke. We're about to give you $50,000 at $2 million interest. <laughs> you didn't read that part. It was so small. You was just geek. I got a credit card. I prayed and the credit card came. No. Don't put that on God. You didn't make your holy, a credit card holy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, but I, I know, but they get mad. Let me stop. They don't value delayed gratification. You're undisciplined. Hmm. Man, if I could go here, but I can't go here. Man, listen to me very closely. A lot of you could be millionaires, but because you're not disciplined, he pulls on a couple. Some of you, you because you, you're not sexually disciplined, You've had people take stuff from you and you've been in places and relate. I just saw two young women that lost their lives that was on some dating thing and went to some man. I was just like, yo, where they do that at? Where do you just trust somebody online that you don't even know? What was it about you that you were so had so such a low self-esteem and then it was twins, it was sisters? That you just gonna go to some man house you don't even know? Come on. Then another young lady just went to jail. Her man told her to, he killed somebody and she, uh, she took a saw and saw. I'm like, boo, you about to go to jail? It's with, I'm like, wow, is it that love that deep these days? People buying stuff. I'm like, well, you ain't grateful for what God, you got to get the extra hookups? I ain't mad at you, but if you, if you do, that, you understand what you attracting. And then you mad when you ain't attracting a, a successful man of character and integrity in God, but you're not putting that out. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Listen to me very closely. Somebody, your zero is going to go to the next level when you can learn to say no. I was just at a function. My man was like, E, you did a phenomenal job, bro. Uh, we doing happy hour at 3.30. I said, my plane leave at 3.50. He said, you're not going to stay for happy hour? I said, bro, I'm not here for no happy hour. We don't know each other like that. Happy hour? I came to speak. I didn't come to build no relationship with you. I didn't come to drink with you. Drink? Bro, I don't even drink. And if I drank, I would drink at home. I wouldn't drink in front of you and get loose like that and start talking crazy. You don't need to know me like that. You need to know me as the number one motivational speaker in the world. Flawless. I'm not, but that's what you need to know me as. You don't even need to get close enough to me to know my faults. This is a business transaction. You, you go and doing business with people drinking like y'all, what you being social for? You don't have no discipline. Drink when you get home. You just see some free wine. You see some free alcohol. Drink when you get home. This is business. Boundaries. There are boundaries. My man like, yo, why you got to go? Because I'm married. I got a wife. I'm going home. We finished. We ain't got no more business to do. You told me you wanted a two-hour presentation. I did it. I'm going home. But E, this is a resort. And I'm going home. Why? Because I can't get in trouble at home. I can't get in trouble at the crib. I can get in trouble at this resort. It's a lot of temptation at this resort. 
so I'm going home where I, it's okay to get into temptation at the crib. <laughs> it, the bed is undefiled. Like I can come home and do this. I can't be doing that over there. And many of you are not where you're supposed to be, not because you're not gifted. You have absolutely no discipline. I'm going to need you to be real. Some of the stuff's going to hurt today, but it's okay. One of the things I'm starting to realize is there's a small group of people that's really living the American dream. So they're selling you some good information. They're not showing you how to execute on those. All I'm saying is, as we move forward, we can't help certain things, but we're not going to sabotage ourselves. So I'm going to show you why they execute and why you don't. But more of us could be living whatever life we want. But what they didn't show you is how you were supposed to do that. What I want y'all to start doing for me is having dreams and then give me a couple nightmares to go with the dreams. For real, I just want you to make up in your mind like this could happen. Not because I want you to be spooked out, but I don't want you to get hit and you like, I didn't prepare for that.